thousand percent sure it was a permit when I hand it to you. <laughs> Whatever you did is your fault. So Steve, we're down in Key West. We're gonna go fishing this week and you're gonna put me on some of your favorite wrecks. Yeah, man. And when we're on the wrecks, back in the day, we would mark them with a big meatball on top of it and uh, we wouldn't know what we're looking at. We figured it was bait and we'd be happy. We'd be happy knowing that that was there. But now with the new Simrad on your boat, it's loaded with uh, the new Chirp technology. And what's Chirp? Chirp is a just another way of separating targets that are mixed close together. So, so instead of traditionally pulling out there, marking a bunch of fish, going, wow, there's fish here, now we can decipher bait from, from, from predators. the predators. Okay. If we're looking for a big king or a sail on a wreck, uh -huh. you can instantly get on top of this wreck, do your grid, uh -huh. say, here's the bait here, and look, there's three big boomerangs. They're, where are they going to be? They're going to be predators. They're going to be barracuda, kingfish, wahoo, sails. So the chirp technology, with a few little adjustments on your game, pulls the actual targets out as boomerangs. And now we know when we come on a wreck, whether it's just a school of sardines or school of sardines with a pack of sails, wahoo, and, or predators, or whatever we're after to make our clients happy. Whenever you can isolate out the, the predators from the bait uh, and the wreck itself, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You're actually going to be able to pick these three things apart instead of just one big blob. Uh, it, it's always uh, it's something that helps you progress whether you decide to throw the anchor or you're just going to move on to the next spot. It just enables us to go with confidence.